I don't know about you, but I cannot believe we are already in June. I feel like May just went by in like the blink of an eye. Um, and I don't even know where the rest of this year went, honestly. I feel like everybody says that, but like, seriously, <laughs> where is 2023 going? Time is chaotic and it's a lot. Anyways, <laughs> welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. This is my June reset um, for writers. You guys loved this video so much last month in May. I will leave it linked up here if you did not catch the first video. Um, but yeah, thank you for all of your love and support on that video. Um, you guys really seem to enjoy it and I am so excited to be bringing you a, another one of these videos. So if you're new here, you've never seen a reset video before, basically I'm going to walk you through what's on my calendar, what my writing plans for the month are, and um, my monthly favorites as well. The air conditioner just kicked on. Is this going to be a trend in these videos? I feel like it might be. Um, they are mowing again today and I cannot do anything about that, so I apologize. Also, welcome to my egg chair. <laughs> first things first, let's chat about my goals that I had set for May and whether or not I feel like I accomplished those. One of the goals that I set for myself in May, because we were coming off of Camp NaNoWriMo, which is a writing challenge, um, was to follow the creative muse. Um, so I didn't really want to focus on word counts. I didn't have really a writing goal for the month. I just wanted to kind of write, follow the muse, see where it took me, um, which in hindsight was a great idea on my part because my kids ended up getting hand, foot and mouth and one of them was out of school for a week, out of daycare for a week, um, which really just threw off my whole writing routine. So um, I did in fact follow the muse this month and um, that basically came down to me in a bit of a fever dream one night uh, writing a complete one-page summary of my romance project that I'm hoping to start drafting soon. Um, I am calling it my magical mystery object romance because I don't have a title for it yet. Um, but yeah, I did a one-page synopsis for it, like a complete one-page synopsis. The only thing that I didn't really like explore in that was um, part of the premise because I, I didn't want to know like specific details. Um, I didn't have specific details because it's kind of almost like dual timeline and I don't have that stuff worked out yet. So I did write a one page synopsis of the main story though, which was very exciting. Um, I also was really great about not laying down in bed before 8, 8 p.m. Um, I mentioned this in my last video, but I am like a grandma. <laughs> um, usually I like go to bed as soon as the kids go to bed um, because I am exhausted at the end of the day. Um, but I thankfully was really good about not doing that. And that is because I set up a little hobby basket for myself and have been kind of focusing on like doing other tasks or activities in the evening before I lay down to like watch a YouTube video. Um, so I was like looking at magazines, which like I forgot how much fun it is to just flip through a magazine. Um, this is your sign to go buy a couple magazines and just like keep them around because it was just so much fun. And I was like marking recipes and like fun activities. I'm excited to go buy more magazines. That's actually one of my to-do lists for um, today is to go buy some new magazines now that it's like a new month. Um, and then um, I also got some coloring and did, was doing some coloring books. And um, I also did some gaming on my Switch because Tears of the Kingdom came out, obviously. Um, so I've been playing a little bit of that this month. Um, and then a, another one of my big goals for May was to consume more stories. Um, I mentioned this in the last video, YouTube is great for motivating me to write. It is not great for helping me generate story ideas. 
So I wanted to really work on consuming more stories. Um, it did take me the entire month to read the physical book that I chose to read this month. We're gonna, we'll talk about her later because I have thoughts on that. <laughs> um, but that also looked like my husband and I uh, doing a rewatch of the entire Pirates of the Caribbean series saga. There are five, so I don't know what that constitutes. A saga would be four? or five? I don't know. Anyways, um, I didn't even know there were five Pirates of the Caribbean movies <laughs> out. So we have successfully completed the first three and we will be watching the final two in the series uh, this weekend. So the first weekend in June. Um, and like just if you just need like a comfort series that is, you know, it's high stakes, but like not really high stakes. Um, definitely give Pirates of the Caribbean a try. The story is just like phenomenal, especially in Curse of the Black Pearl. It is just like the pinnacle of a modern, modern, because it's not set in modern times, obviously, but like a, an adventure movie. Um, and just like the character arcs throughout the series are really great. Um, and yeah, I just, we stan Elizabeth and Will. Um, <laughs> so that is what I have been watching. Um, if you have watched anything great recently, please let me know what you've watched in the comments um, so I can take that under consideration for the next thing we want to watch. Um, so moving on into last month, I wanted to read eight books and I actually ended up reading 10 books uh, last month. So just shy of the 12 books that I needed to hit for the month to stay on track for my goal, but that's okay. We will get there. Um, I've already read more books this year than I have in the last three years combined. So um, we're doing great. Um, and I did manage to read one physical book, which if you follow me on social media, you know I am making my entire personality um, fourth wing. I, she is the moment. <laughs> Everybody is talking about this book, so I'm sure that you've heard about it. Um, I absolutely loved it. I went to Target at the beginning of the month and picked it up, happened to pick it up on release day. I had not heard anything about this book. I picked it up um, because the cover is gorgeous, first of all. I mean like gold, shiny, sprayed edges, dragons. I was here for just how pretty this book was. Um, and then I read the synopsis and realized that it is a military academy setting. And if you know anything about me, my husband is a West Point grad. Um, so I felt right at home in this setting and I've actually been wanting to write a like magical military academy story myself. Um, so I was very intrigued by this and the author is also a military spouse. Um, so yeah, this was like an instant buy for me. And then literally two days later, everybody was talking about this book. I just, I loved this book. I, if you do not read fantasy romance, this is probably not the book for you. But there are a lot of things that the author did so well in this book that really just thrilled me. And I've been thinking, if you want me to talk more about books and reading books like a writer, I've been thinking about doing like a podcast style series on this channel, something that you can just like listen to in the background. Um, so if you'd like to listen to me talk about books, let me know because I would be more than happy to make a video on this book and what I think the author did well. Literally my only complaint about this book was the like nickname thing. And if you know, you know, um, but that is very much a like romance thing. And I don't read a lot of romance or a lot of fantasy romance, but if you are a fantasy romance reader or if you just want to see the reason why everybody is talking about this book or want to see a good example of something that is a highly marketable book, pick this up because Lightlark who? 
<laughs> basically is what I where I'm at with this. I'm unhinged right now. I am aware. <laughs> So we'll talk about that in a bit. Speaking of May, I wanted to just give a little bit of like highs and lows for the month. Um, highs were, you know, picking up a five star read and my husband and I celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary, which was really special. Um, we're actually probably gonna be celebrating really this weekend when we have childcare. Um, but it was nice. We went on like a little hike with the kids and then we all went to hibachi. Um, so that was fun. My daughter also turned two this month in May. So a lot of really high, great highs for our family. Um, lows, I had a little bit of a hiccup with work and um, just with the kids being sick, I was not feeling my best. Um, my mental health has just <laughs> declined rapidly as it does when you have depression. But I'm happy to report that today I am feeling better. I think getting out of the house and moving my body regularly has been helping that. I'm actually about to go head out on a walk as soon as I wrap up filming this video. Now we can take a look at what's on my calendar for the month of June. So for June, my mother-in-law is actually coming to visit. She's gonna be here on Friday, which is very exciting. Um, we are all excited for her to come stay with us and the kids are so excited. Um, so that's gonna take up a little bit of time um, on the weekends and you know during the week. So I'm not sure what my writing is going to look like this month, but um, I'm confident that I will at least be able to finish episode three, which is the current episode that I'm working on of When We Were Legends, my serial fantasy novel. Um, additionally, my husband will also be in the field two weeks out of the month. Um, so that means that I have a little bit extra time in the evenings because I won't be, um, I won't, I won't have anyone to hang out with essentially. Um, so that will give me a little bit of extra time during nap time and also in the evenings because I won't be hanging out with my husband, but I might also be stressed because I will be solo parenting um, during that time. So again, we're just gonna go with the flow this month. Um, Abby Emmons is doing her virtual writing retreat this month. So I think I am actually going to time block those live streams out. Um, maybe not the weekend ones, but definitely the Wednesday ones and work on my romance novel. Um, so I definitely want to put those on my calendar and make sure that I'm blocking that time. And then also we have Juneteenth, the federal holiday on the 19th. So the kids are out of daycare. My husband's off work. We're all off work. Um, so we can get some extra family time in there. Um, but that, that is a day that I know I probably won't get any writing done. Um, and that's it for the calendar this month. So compared to May, like not a lot going on this month. Um, which is exciting because May, like I said in the last video, is our busy month pretty much. Um, so we have a lot going on in the month of May. Glad to not have that much going on. Um, and then on my radar coming up is July for Camp Nano um, and my Taylor Swift concert. Um, I'm going to the Aeros tour. I'm so excited. So that's on my radar for July. I'm just mentioning that because like that is like the beginning of July. Um, so I wanna make sure that I have that in mind when I'm looking at my goals. Goals for the month of June are gonna be pretty simple, but a lot of them are kind of exciting because I am really buckling down um, on this project, my serialized fantasy novel. So I took a look at all of what I've written so far and where I am like in the overall plot of what I intend to be the first season or like the first book um, in the series. And so I think I am almost done with the first arc, which is very exciting. Um, so I want to finish out this first arc, which means that I'm going to wrap up the part that I'm writing currently, which I am very close to finishing up. 
um, maybe like another week or so and I will have that done. Um, <laughs> she says with her fingers crossed. Um, so I'm hopeful to have that done. And that means that I can print it out, take a look, edit it, polish it up. And then I want to, this is a big goal. This is a huge step for me. It is something I've never ever done before. I am going to book an editor for this project because one, I wanna know how much it's gonna cost me. And two, I wanna make sure that I'm like on the right track. I think that based on where I am writing this, that I might be able to start publishing it early next year. Um, and that is really like, that's like the, t I haven't set that target yet because we'll see how this goes. Um, but I really want to keep this momentum going that I have with this project. And I know that booking an editor is a big step for me, both in my confidence as a writer and for this project. Um, I really believe in this project. So I am very excited about that. So I will be booking an editor hopefully this month for maybe the end of the summer so that I have some time to like do edits. Um, so yes, yeah, so those are basically my first two major goals for June. Um, I really want those to get done. Um, and then my third big goal is to do a mid-year check-in with my writing goals. Um, I did a whole video at the beginning of the year about my 2023 writing goals, and I wanna check in, see what's changed, see where I need to pivot, see where I need to spend more energy. Um, spoiler alert, I wanted to finish, I wanted to draft four novels basically this year. Um, currently, we've only got one. <laughs> Um, so uh, technically not even one. We're still working on the first one. Um, but I have about 20,000 done of that one. So we're, we're getting there. I don't know if this is an attainable goal. We will see. Um, but that's why we're going to do a mid-year check-in friends. Um, and I will be doing a video and sharing that with you. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a video. I try to post every Friday, but I am a mom of two and a military spouse. So things get a little crazy in my life sometimes. Um, but I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around. I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, and that would mean a lot to me. We're really close to a thousand subscribers and that would just be like a huge milestone for me um i have been on youtube forever so <laughs> if you like this video and want to see more from me definitely hit the subscribe button and stick around because youtube analytics tell me that the majority of you aren't subscribed so i'm calling you out <laughs> and i want to use abby ammons's writing retreat to do to work on my magical mystery object romance um, but I don't have a goal of like finishing that. I think that if I could get through maybe act one, that would be really great. Something else that I would like to get done this month is to look into artists for character art for When We Were Legends. I am tossing around the idea of doing either a Kickstarter or just doing like a Patreon for this project. Um, but I want to have character art, not only for like promotion, you know, making the Kickstarter or page look nice, um, but also to give to people. Um, and just, you know, for myself, <laughs> it's fun to treat yourself to character art of your characters that you've created. Um, so that is something that I would like to do this month also because I'm trying to figure out like how much I need to spend basically to get this project out into the world the way that I want it to be. Um, so I have that and then also I want to plan a writing retreat. Um, so this probably won't happen for a couple more months, maybe August, although my husband does have block leave coming up in July, I think. So maybe I'll tag on a writing retreat to then, but, um, Obviously I'm married and have kids, so I can't just go off on a writing retreat. I have to plan one and, you know, sync up with my husband's calendar 
and all of that is subject to change when you're a military spouse um <laughs> so yeah i would just like to plan one if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't so yeah those are my main goals that are related to writing my one additional goal that i'll throw in here just because um you guys have kind of seen a little bit of it with the egg chair and the desk space the writing space um is to continue cozying up the spaces in the house so i have a blanket for my egg chair but like i would like a little pillow for it and maybe get some lights up in here um we've been working on cozying up our master bedroom i'll like insert some footage of it um I'm really liking how it's coming together so far. I think I want to get a beanbag chair <laughs> for in there just because I feel like the space on the side of my bed is like weird and it's just like a haven for shoes and other things that don't need to be there. But I feel like I would get a lot of enjoyment out of like a beanbag chair. Like I could read, I could play by switch and I wouldn't be in bed, but I could still be like cozy in my bedroom. Um, and there's a couple other things that I wanna do. Like we're working on doing a gallery wall and I wanna get some like cozy curtains, make the vibes really good, get some lighting in there um, for the ambiance um, and that sort of thing. Uh, so that's pretty much it. If I could finish our bedroom this month, that would be great. And then I can work on other spaces in the house. Um, and now we get to talk about everybody's favorite part of this video, which was my monthly favorites. So I just have to give another mention to fourth wing. It had to be done. Um, my next favorite, I know I talked so much about my iPad in the last video and I do still love my iPad, but I am one of those people who can never commit to a planning system and i just like things got really chaotic and my energy was just all over the place so i went back to bullet journaling um which is something that i've done on and off for years um so here's a look at a spread that i did um this month and this is the other one that i really liked this month it's like this style um basically i just need like I, I need the ability to just like constantly write down to do's. Um, so I just went back to bullet journaling. Part of the reason I went back to bullet journaling is because I got this amazing um, journal cover from, it's from Coach, it's a leather journal cover, um, but it was less than a hundred dollars and this thing brings me so much joy. Um, I mean, like I take this everywhere with me now. This was my birthday present to myself um, and as you can see, I have been using it regularly. Um, I've been taking my meeting notes in this journal. Um, and I had originally bought this to use as um, a reading journal. And I just never ended up filling anything out after <laughs> this house of uh, earth and blood spread. <laughs> um, so I love that for me. But yeah, I really, really do like this journal cover. Everything that I mentioned that I have links to will be linked down below if you want to check it out. They also have like just like a plain brown leather that like looks like the interior cover of this. Um, plain brown leather. Um, I think they have a pink one. I'm definitely going to keep my eye out to see if they come out with any other fun things. But I just really like this and I can stick whatever notebook I want in here and yeah i will hopefully have it for a very long time next up on my favorites list is going to be actually a youtuber it is cozy k here on youtube she is a cozy gamer i love her vibes i love her aesthetic i love her game reviews i love her let's plays she just is like one of those people that you can just put on in the background and listen to and it feels like you're hanging out with a friend um and i don't have a lot of friends where i live because we're still getting settled um, I have friends, they're just like all, you know, my friends live thousands of miles away from me. Um, so yeah, I just, I love like comfort YouTubers like that. So I've been loving her channel. She is like the inspiration for like the hobby basket that I put together and, um, you know, like cozying up our bedroom and just like really getting into the cozy vibes. Um, so yeah, I've been loving her. Um, something else that I have been loving this month are these clay earrings um 
I don't know if you saw them in my last video, but I wore the like gray ones with the mushrooms, but I picked them up at the farmer's market. Um, I will insert a clip of the gal's business card if you want to check them out. But I have like so many pairs now because I just keep going back and buying more. Um, so cute. I actually just bought a, a clay switch charm from another um, clay artist thing that I've really been loving writing wise is this keyboard case that I got for my iPad. I recently um, upgraded my work setup so I got the Asus Pro Art monitor which is great. I love it and a keyboard from Best Buy. Um, so I <laughs> don't really feel like like unhooking my laptop to take with me. Um, so I've been using the iPad to just write on and I got this keyboard for 50 bucks at Target so that I can use it when I'm out of the house. Um, and that has been really great for me. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it again this month. Um, let me know if you did. Let me know if you have any recommendations for things that you'd like to see in this video. Um, and let me know how your month went. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment, please. Okay, bye. Thank <laughs> you.